value the, uh, the microphone, and we all use it to our, to our advantage. But do you all have any advice for that person who hates to use the microphone? And please use the microphone when you... Well, it's important to know the qualities and limitations of the microphone that you're using. Uh, it's because some microphones work well at one distance and other microphones work well at other distances. Some pick up very directionally and some are kind of omnidirectional. So if with the microphone that we're using right now, it's very directional. So I need to hold it about where I'm holding it uh, in, and right in front of my mouth in order for it to pick up. If I move my head to the side, y you won't be able to hear me anymore. And, but there are some microphones that you can do that with. So knowing what type of equipment you have is important. Yes. Um, I love using a microphone because I can whisper. I can use that really soft voice. And even though I'm whispering, I am still projecting at the same time. So if I'm whispering something, it might be something like, Hey, I need you here now. Still projecting but still being able to whisper, and people would hear that as a whisper out in the audience. So many people I've known that say, oh, I don't need, uh, I don't need a microphone. I have a voice that carries. Yeah. I'm a teacher. I know how to talk. And they get up, and they talk just like this, just like their regular voice. They have, they have no idea how to project their voices out into 300 people. And they, they don't understand that it only not even carries to the first 10 people in the audience. So, yeah. I, I sat there where someone says, well, I don't need this microphone. And you could hear the groan of the, of the audience, you know. I mean, obviously that person's not hearing the groan, but I think, no, no, you do need the microphone. Yeah, I'm one of those microphone haters. I, I'm still not comfortable with it. So one thing that I've learned to do is that when someone calls me for a booking, I immediately try to find out how large is the audience. And that gives me a heads up if I'm going to have to have a microphone. Very often as a storyteller, we have 15, 20 children or a small audience of adults. And so then, no, you don't need the mic. But if they tell me, well, there'll be 200 children, you know you're going to need that microphone. Right. And so then... I really think long and hard about my stories because if I have a story where I'm supposed to be tra la -la across the stage, I might not be able to use that story because I'm tied to a microphone. Um, oftentimes, if I know that I'm going to have a handheld mic, I have to be careful with what kind of audience participation I'm going to be having because I'm, I'm doing a clap while I'm doing a clap with a microphone in my hand now. 